Okay, hey, um, so, hi, it's been a while, um, but real quick, there's something, like, really, really important, and I've been trying to figure out the best way to, like, like, talk about it, uh, the best, like, internet platform, uh, so it's here for now until I pitch the article idea to Vice, that it's like, hey, I'm a writer, I did this, uh, so, one, it, this is all about psychiatry and mental illness, so listen up if you're into that. Uh, recently, in the past few years, um, ketamine infusions have been increasingly used to treat um, treatment-resistant depression. So, like, personally, I've been depressed since before I can remember. I've had intrusive suicidal thoughts that didn't go away with any medication. Um, and I felt like a failure because medications didn't work and different therapies didn't work, lifestyle changes, nothing fucking worked. And I was, like, ready to give up. And then I tried these infusions. Now, insurance doesn't cover them yet, but that's hopefully going to change depending on who wins the fucking candidacy. Anyway, um, they're fairly expensive, however, one round of infu- like, after four infusions, that's it, that's all you get. And the effects, like, I was, after my first, like, series of infusions, I was cured for, like, six months. Uh, no suicidal ideation. I got sad, okay, sometimes, and I didn't get manic either, like, over the top. It was just, like, I had normal moods within a normal- like, within a range that wasn't upsetting to myself or anyone else. And I'm just so glad that I stuck around, um, because 27 was the year that it was like, if it doesn't get better by then, I'm done. And, um, then turn 28 in December, it's August now, and I have been loving life since January, somehow, um, which I never thought I'd be able to say. And stuff has been hard, because moved to Virginia, you know, left all, all my friends who I miss terribly, left New York City, which I miss even more, um, and moved to Tidewater, which is, I call it flood water, because it's, that's what it is, just like body, lo lots of bodies of brackish water that, that flood all the time. And it's a swamp. It's a big swamp. So I'm a swamp witch now. And that's kind of all right. Um, you know, uh, I guess, so, no, no more updates about me. If you live in New York City, or in even the tri-state area, uh, the best doctor in my- there, uh, apparently, I found two doctors who do ketamine infusions. The one that I went with is Dr. Brooks, Dr. Glenn Brooks, at, um, New York City, I think, you know, New York City Ketamine Infusions, LLC. Um, or you can find him through the Ketamine Advo Advocacy Network. He is so amazing. Um, and uh, if you're in the Hampton Roads Tidewater area or Eastern Virginia, um, there's even a Dr. Newman at I, th at, uh, I think w Williamsburg Psychiatric. I, I don't know, but it's like certain like again Ketamine Network Newman. That's his name. He's in Williamsburg, and he's also great. Um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to, like, I had, like, it's great having good news after a couple, after, like, about seven years of increasingly, like, like, just bad news after bad news after bad news, because I was making so many shitty decisions and things weren't getting better. Now they are. And that carries the extra, like, thing for me. Now I just don't want to shut up about it, because I know so many people who would benefit not only if you, like, even if you don't have, don't suffer from depression, if you have chronic pain, um, I have a lot of chronic stomach pain because I have three stomach diseases, and it, it's a double whammy. It gets that, too. I don't know how. And that's a blessing because there aren't a lot of medications that can treat stomach pain. So, again, uh, check that out, guys, if, like, it, um... Because, you know, it doesn't make everything go away. It won't make your OCD go away. It hasn't made my borderline personality disorder symptoms go away. It made them a lot easier to manage, but they're still there. And, um, you know, like, the problems in my life are still 
problems. I still have no executive functioning and I really am working really hard on that. But when I was really depressed, I couldn't get out of bed to do it. I couldn't bring myself to work at it because nothing would make me, I knew that even if I got better, it wouldn't feel better. This has seriously allowed me to start building a life that I'm proud of and becoming a person and to become a person that I'm like happy with. So on that note, I will leave you. And, um, I don't know if you watch this, I hope that you got something out of it. And, uh, yeah, so go neurodivergence. Um, and, uh, good luck. <laughs>